Hello everyone, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, our Germany tutorial playthrough. Now first off, I do need to apologize for the quality of Episode 2. I decided that I was going to change some of the encoder settings on my recording software, and instead of testing it first uh, and making sure that everything was going to work, I decided to record an entire 30-minute episode of my live series and predictably it broke my editing software so I wasn't able to clean it up or do any of my post processing or anything like that so I just had to upload the raw recorded file and and just deal with it so sorry about that but should have all my settings dialed in now and hopefully this is gonna work right alright so uh, last episode, we got our units reorganized and distributed out to the fronts, and we started our production to fill out our existing divisions and to begin expanding the size of our military. Uh, so let's go ahead and start this up, because we got a lot of time to cover before anything... Oop, hold on. Alright, there we go. Uh, inf small arms advance and infantry support weapons advance. Uh, for our infantry units. Okay, so let's get this rolling here. Yeah, as I was saying, we got a lot of time to cover before anything actually interesting starts happening, so let's go ahead and get this done. Um, Alright, light artillery, infantry, any tank weapons. Okay, that's the rest of our infantry uh, technology. Alright. So actually, let's go take a look at the technology that we just got, which was under infantry. So now we see that all of our infantry technologies are now up to 1938, so um, there's no need to uh, re queue those back up. Uh, actually, hold on, we got mountain warfare and arctic warfare equipment. Uh, let's go ahead and queue those up and actually push those to the top. Because we don't necessarily need them now, but we're going to definitely need them um, before we start invading Russia. So Now one other thing I wanted to look into here because I'm going to want it sooner rather than later is my self-propelled artillery brigades. Okay, what do I need to get those? Light tank, gun, engine, armor, and reliability to at least three. Okay. These are going to be important because I want to add artillery to my mobile units, but the artillery that we currently have is just too slow. Um, to, it's going to slow my, my mobile units down, and I don't want that to happen. So we want the self-propelled artillery because it's going to be faster. All right. Oh, wait, we got uh, some production done here. Okay, it looks like uh, destroyer squadron, so we'll just dump this here. Click and drag, select that, merge them together. So we're just going to keep all of our ships piled up in this one fleet for now until we decide to break them up and uh, get them ready to actually do stuff. Okay, one other thing we wanted to do here is start building out our uh, command structure. Because right now, all we have are just these uh, cores that are just floating here, not connected to anything. So, what I want to do is I want to get these cores connected to an army uh, headquarters. So, what we're going to do is we're going to select one of these cores, and then we're going to hit this button right here that has the four X's on it, and that's going to create a new headquarters unit. It is now the first army. So this is an army command unit. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to move that over here. And then we're going to want to get the other cores connected to it. So we're going to take this core, we're going to go ahead and we're connected to the first army. We're going to grab this core as well and we're going to connect it as well to the first army. Now, I'm only going to connect these three cores to this army at the moment. Because 
Um, there's a couple of reasons why you want to make sure that you have a nice, well-built command structure. First is the commands uh, provide bonuses to all the units that are connected to them. And also, it's a good organizational tool to make sure that you can keep track of you know, what units you have and what they're going to be doing. So, this army is going to command basically these three corps that are being used as the defensive line along the French front. So, we're going to want another army that's going to be for our assault. Our assault forces that are actually going to do the attacking. So, um, this unit, we're going to go ahead, we're going to make another army. We're going to move that over there. And then, uh, yeah, that's the only one currently that's going to be attached to that army at the moment. Oh, Italy canceled a trade agreement. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We got some more production complete. And those are infantry divisions. Okay, now wait a minute. We only got four. There should be a fifth. Okay. Fifth is lagging a little behind. Alright, so I'm actually going to not deploy those just yet until we get the fifth. And, alright, so where was I? Okay, we now need to build the rest of the command structure. So, these armies now need to be attached to an army group. So, I'm going to go here, I'm going to create, hit this button again, and make an army group. And move that over there, and take this army, and assign it to the first army group. Okay, so, then we're going to take this army group, because the next level above that is theater. We already have a theater unit, it's up here, Obi West. So we're going to take this guy, we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach it to Obi West. So now, this whole theater is now properly structured. Alright, so, uh, may... Oh, there it is. Okay. Basic medium fuel tank. Basic bomb. Okay, so those are aircraft. Oh, there's a submarine. Okay, I'm just pile that in there. Alright, so now we have five infantry divisions. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to plop them down here. Uh, they're going to become part of the French assault force. So I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to make a core. Take the core. And I'm going to attach it to the second army here. Alright, so there we go. Now all the rest of those uh, foot infantry units, I think, are going to go to the Polish front. Because right now, our Polish forces are very thin. Okay, so, we're going to need to do the same thing here with these cores. Um, we're going to take this, we're going to create an army. Attach this guy to the third army. Oh, light tank gun. Okay, that's the first of our light light tank technologies. Okay, so now we actually already have an army group command over here that they came with the historical units. So we're gonna just take this new army, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach that to that group, and we're gonna tank this group, and we're gonna attach it to this theater. Okay, so you know, always you know looking at the X's that tells you what tier uh, of command structure that is. Alright, now this unit we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach that to the third army as well. And this unit actually we're going to also attach to the third army because I'm going to put this armored group, this armored core here, I'm going to put that over on the Polish front. Alright, let's just keep this rolling. Up to speed five. Okay. Yep. Now we're over there. And we're just waiting for the rest of the light tank. Light tank engine, light tank reliability. And Finland did something there that probably doesn't matter. Uh, and light tank armor. That's not going to be out till June 6th. Okay. What did we get produced? Ah, okay. Here we go. It looks like we got the first set of our anti-tank guns. Actually, uh, no, 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 actually, we want to keep that rolling. Um, so what we're going to do here, because these are uh, brigade attachments, right? They're just brigades. So we need to get them piled in to our existing units. So we're just going to click on that. It's going to give us oh, France. That's some internal French politics. I actually want to slow this down because I'm just going to get nothing but, but prompts. 
Council of Trade Agreement. Okay, so we get this list here, and then we just select what division we're going to want to put it in. So we got all of our infantry divisions. So we're just going to click on that, and that dumps it in. And Canada canceled a trade agreement. All right, so let's click on these. Let's pick it in there. In there. And there. Get all these. Oh, there's the light tank armor. Actually, I want to s slow this down. Get these. Get these guns in these units. All right. So now that we got those, see, these are 1938. So I don't want to queue those up again just yet. So we got the medium tank brigade. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push that to the top to get that done as soon as possible. And... Yeah, okay, so we're good there. Alright, let's keep this rolling. Alright. Okay, so... As we get this going, the other thing I want to do... Is I want to adjust the commanders that we have... Um, in all of our units. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on like one of our command units here. Mexico canceled a trade agreement. Hungary canceled a trade agreement. Hungary canceled another trade agreement. Escort carrier tech. Oh, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I keep getting interrupted by stuff. But we want that aircraft carrier technology. We're going to go ahead and push that to the top again because we are actually going to want some couple of carriers, I think. And... Oh, a motorized AA brigade. Actually, that's a brigade attachment that we queued up to put in the SS division. This guy right here. So let's put that in there. Alright. Netherlands cancel a trade agreement. You can get a lot of that. So, just deal with it. So, what we were doing here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is click here and it says right now I have no leader so actually what I want to do I'm gonna click on this uh, another generous trade agreement got canceled all right so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to unassign all so this is gonna remove all leader assignments from the country so every military unit is gonna lose their leader assignment so we're gonna hit OK all right so Union cancel the trade agreement Belgium cancel the trade agreement Canada cancel the trade agreement what what we got here? Um, okay, so there's the m mobile infantry or motorized infantry. So let's get that assigned there. Um, get these attached to the tenth core. Okay, so uh, that guy's full. All right. So now I have absolutely no leaders assigned to anything. So uh, these guys, let's just get you up there somewhere. Alright, so now what I want to do is if you click on a unit, there's this little tray right here. You can pop that out and it gives you a breakdown, a nice breakdown of all your units. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these... Right, so we had the one... Ar oh, I forgot to get these attached. Okay, so this guy needs to get attached to the third army. There we go. Okay. See? That's one of the things this can be useful for. Okay, so now we have this theater, okay, with this group, with this army, and then we have all of these cores. Right? And you can see this little portrait with a question mark on it means they got no commander. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to click on this and I'm gonna give them a leader. Operational level command structure advance. Okay, that's good. And we're going to sort by rank. And we want to give them a good leader here. Parliamentary scandal. Hold on. Last week, we had the displeasure of disclosing certain suspect activities relating to a prominent figure in the government. This week, the minister concerned failed to make a public speech denying his involvement in the scandal. 
However, an expert reporter of one of the national radio stations managed to press the minister into more or less confessing that he has not only lied to the public about his involvement, but also that he has been lying in front of the high court on several occasions. Our, politi our political specialists tell us that this most probably will force the head of government to reshuffle his cabinet. Okay, so that is not good. So we get a leader penal leadership penalty and dissent change penalty. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, um... Alright, so what I gotta do is I gotta redistribute that, make sure that my consumer goods get up so my descent doesn't climb too high. Um, Alright, so let's just unpause this. Alright. So, what we're doing here is we need to go back in here, we need to assign this guy a leader. So, um, and we can see the skills, the traits that they have here. We've got old guard, and we've got a bunch of different things here. So, what I can do is... I want to see if I get a good leader that... Uh, here's a good logistics wizard, defensive doctrine, battle master. Let's actually promote him up. I'm going to put him in the theater. Okay. So, then we have the group. I'm just going to put Von Bloomberg on the group. Okay. Uh, the third army. Okay, we're going to give this army a leader. Uh, what do we want to do here? All these guys are old guard. Um, I could promote some of the lower level commanders. See, old guard has an experience gain penalty, so... Um, okay, games of the 11th Olympiad. Recently held in Berlin, Germany, attended by athletes from 49 different nations across the world. And they were the first in history to enjoy limited live television coverage. Okay. So German athletes won 33 gold medals, while the Americans came in second with 24. And four of them were won by Jesse Owens, the single most successful athlete in the games. Okay, so. Uh, Let's actually let's take this guy, Von Rundstedt. We're gonna put him in charge of the army. Okay, and then we have the various core levels. These guys need commanders as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this logistics wizard in there, and I'm gonna put uh, this guy, Hoth. And I'm going to put uh, I want to try and avoid the guys that have the old guard on there, so I'm going to put Blaskowitz there. And this guy... Oh yeah, I'm going to just take one of the... These offensive guys here in Army Corps. This is offensive doctrine, yeah. Okay, so. Then we need to fill out the divisions. Each division needs its own leader. Uh, what, what's this? Okay, we're starting to get more. Okay, so this division needs a leader. We're going to go down to the one star guys. And we're just going to start putting in guys who are not old guard. And who have some of some of these these traits. So we want offensive doctrine guys. Because we're this is gonna be an attack force, right? Battlemaster. Combined arms plus ten percent. Logistics wizard. Supply consumption, you know, just twenty-five percent. Yeah, we want that. Battlemaster. A little bit tedious here, but important nonetheless. Uh, uh. And we're really not doing much else right now, so um, we're just waiting for stuff to finish. Operational level organization advance. 
and keep filling in these guys here. Uh, or avoid, avoid the the old guard guys if at all possible. And I'm not worried about that those units piling up because we we can just leave them there until we're ready to distribute them out. Divisions. Let's go with the logistics wizard. Uh, uh, uh. There, okay. Supply bonus, engineer, river attack. Um, I'm just gonna keep going with these guys. Actually, for this, these guys, I might want defensive, defensive abilities, because these guys got a hold. They're not gonna be involved in too much attack, at least not initially. So. They gotta defend this pocket, so I'm gonna give them the bonus to defense. Um, if I can find guys that have that without the old guard on it. So, this guy. Uh, let's see. My logistics wizard's not bad. Especially over here in this pocket. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, that's not who we wanted. Uh, hold on. Republican Spain, Spanish Civil War. Okay, so the Spanish Civil War has begun. Okay, so we need to figure out uh, we're going to intervene in the Spanish Civil War. Okay, intervention. back to what I was doing. Cause this is the guy I wanted because he's got old guard. I wanted a this guy, logistics wizard. Right, so these guys don't have anything in them yet, so I'm not worried about them too much. Alright, OB West. Who's going to be leader of Obi West? Von Kleist? Yeah, let's promote him up. Let's get him on there. Uh, first Army Group. Uh, let's see. Who we got? Uh... I think a logistics wizard, but oh, are we still paused? Yes, yeah, so I'm paused. That. Um, oh well, it looks like we're not going to have much choice here. I'm going to take one of these guys. Take. All right. So first army. These are old guard. Army cores. Army cores. Fighter ground control advanced. This is strike tactics advanced. Alright, so um, what do we got here? Um, actually, in my production, 
One thing I did notice is that I actually had one too many of these guns. So... I want to actually cancel one of these guns. Um, because I have a unit here that I, that I noticed um, when I was looking at things earlier uh, was that one of these units already has an artillery re uh, regiment in it, so it didn't need um, the, those guns. So we didn't need the extra gun. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and spread these guns out. Get these out. Uh, yeah, not, there's not a lot going on right now. Um, you know, as we are just, you know, filling everything in, getting our army all set up and ready. Alright, so now we have an infantry corps here. Um, tactical command structure, advanced late doctrine, mass assault, central planning. Alright, we got a whole bunch of technology there. And actually, what we want to do is we want to go and make sure that any of these that are still need to be up to date are queued back up and pushed to the top because these are all rather important because they provide all of the uh, buffs essentially to our, our military forces. Uh, large front, okay. Alright. Uh, when was that medium tank brigade going to get done? November. Okay, so let's just keep that rolling. Alright, and let's just keep this rolling with getting my uh, military all uh, set up correctly here. Uh, Republican Spain cancel the trade agreement. Okay, whatever. Infantry division, port strike. Uh, those are going to improve my my bombers. Nationalist Spain, uh, fleet auxiliary like carrier doctrine. All right, so yeah, just just kind of grinding through this, making sure we get guys. Brazil, naval air targeting advance. Um. Sure that we get uh, everything all assigned properly. Um, yep, yep. Okay. Army Corps. Uh, Greece cancel the trade agreement. Uh, let's see. Fairpunk advance, they have tactics advance, Finland cancel the trade agreement. It's certainly possible that we might miss one or two here, but hopefully, hopefully we'll be alright. And actually at this point, Heavy bomber ground crew training. Okay. Second army. And we don't really have. Uh, of course, we can always promote one of those guys. Medium tank brigade. Okay. Well, slow it down. Because now we need to go in here and we need to queue these guys up. Okay, so. 
these need to get pushed to the top because we need to get those medium tanks uh, researched. So the medium tank that they're going to give us right off the bat, if we go to production, oh, make sure those are all, is going to be, if we click on Brigade Gun, no, Panzer 3Bs. Okay. So we'll go ahead and keep things rolling and see if we can finish up getting all of these commanders assigned because this is rather rather tedious here so we want to get this done now this is something you certainly don't necessarily have to do but I, I kind of like to do it because I like to have control over who's doing what. Uh, let's see, and I'm running out of guys with good skills. So we got, we got Fortress Busters, we'll go ahead and we'll put those in there, that's a good skill. I'm not worried about putting a commander in the fleet. Well, yeah, I'm not worried about that just yet. We'll, we'll get to the fleet and the Air, Air Force um, command once we actually get those. The fleet's broken up, get them organized into what they're going to be, and uh, get the oh, armored car gun. Actually, I want to check those armored car techs. Okay, so they're 1938. We don't need to worry about those just yet. Okay. So back, we're going to click on a unit so we can get this tray back open. And we were... We're down here, okay. We're finishing up the last few divisions uh, for commanders. Does anybody have any decent skills? Okay, here's another fortress buster. those old guards. Alright, so we're just going to have to start putting guys who don't have any skills yet and hope that they are going to earn some at some point. Uh, I could go with engineer, but eh, why not? Okay. And there you go. Okay, so all those guys on mountain warfare equipment and arctic warfare equipment. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, so, there we go. Alright, now what we want to do is we got, we should have a, like, oh, oh, ooh, the rocket test site's done. Okay, that's actually very good, because that thing was stinking expensive to build. So we're going to just plop that in Brandenburg. Um, it doesn't really matter where you put it, as long as it gets put down somewhere. And let me look at my production here. We got the last set of guns. We got those rolling. We got our new naval, new ships being built. All right, we got some of the planes being worked on. Now we do have this Panzer. A set of Panzers here. I could once those guns are done. I think I might push those to the top, and um, so I can just get those built and out of the way. Any tank barrel and sights advance. Uh, any tank barrel and sights. Okay, that's good. All right, now what I want to do is grab these units. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna start just filling up new new cores. Okay, so That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's going to become a core. Then we can attach this core to the third... Oh, wait a minute. Yep, oh, it looks like, yep, the third army is actually full. So we're going to have to create a new army. The fourth army. We'll get that attached to the group. Okay, so... 
I'm gonna go ahead and oh, we don't have five there yet. I want to wait till we get the fifth. Uh, nationalist Spain. Okay, let's see how what's going on over there with the Spanish Civil War. Okay, so we got uh, the territory owned by Nationalist Spain. Okay, another game tank ammunition and missile advance. Okay, so those are doing. Then we got Republican Spain right now. So they're still in the middle of that Civil War. Aircraft carrier tech. Okay. That's actually good because we want to go in now that we got the aircraft carrier unlocked and we got the aircraft carrier upgrade technologies, which right now the aircraft carriers we can build are really crappy, so we want to wait. So we want to get these researched so that we can make some better aircraft carriers. Alright, so. Alright, okay, so. Uh, we got the other infantry, so let's go ahead and plop these infantry down. That should be five. Yep, make that into a core. Assign that core to the fourth army. Now. Alright, all the guns are done, so I'm going to push these panzers and these motorized infantry to the top, get those being produced. Oh, one other thing I wanted to see if I could queue up. Do I have transport planes? Yes. I have transport planes. I actually want to get some of those in the queue, because they're going to be useful later on once we start invading Russia. Um, as the supply lines get stretched, you can use the transport planes to basically airlift supplies to units that need it. Um, very important. So, alright, so we got these guns, so let's go ahead and push these guns into the infantry units. We don't want to put it in that mountain division, so we want to make sure we don't accidentally put a gun in there. Alright, it looks like actually we made it to 1937. Okay, so actually one thing we want to go through, now that we hit a new year, um, we want to look through our technologies and see if we have anything 1937. Marine infantry, there we go. We want that. Push that to the top. And actually what I'm going to do is on the armor, because we want to get this self-propelled artillery brigade, we have the light tank. Now it says 1938, but I'm going to queue them up anyway, and I'm going to push those to the top to get a head start on them. I'm, we're going to suffer a penalty, right, but it should be okay. Yeah, it's going to say February 9th, as when 1938, when they're going to get done. So it'll be like right at the start of 1938 is when the those light tank uh, technologies are going to get completed. And uh, let's see, light cruiser. Yeah, we're not too worried about that stuff, so that can just wait. Uh, what's this? Uh, artillery barrel and ammunition advance. Okay. And all right, back to. So we we need we want to get this self-propelled artillery brigade um, unlocked because I need to get some some medium tank brigades built for uh, before the end of 1939 so that we can you know attack France with them. Uh, submarine stuff. I'm not worried about submarine stuff right now. Capital ships. Anything 1937? No. Uh, bombers. Fighters. No. Uh, industry. 38, 38, 38, 39. Yep, nope, nothing there. Um, theory, all this stuff is still queued up. Land. We got tactical command structure. That's important. Let's push that to the top. And a uh, schwer punk got done. Uh, I'm gonna push that to the top. I'm gonna be pushing a lot of stuff off the bottom of here. 
Um, at some point, I'm just going to have to wait. But no, okay, we're good. Naval, destroyer escort roll, light cruiser escort roll. Let's carrier. Anything that's carrier and light cruiser. Commander, decision making, battleship crew training, destroyer crew training, uh, battle fleet, concentration doctrine, destroyer escort roll. Yeah, we'll just queue those up, but we're going to leave those at the bottom of the list, because they're not terribly important right now. Um, you know, these guys need to get queued up. But again, we're just going to leave that stuff at the bottom of the list right now. It's not terribly important. Alright. So actually, I think we're probably at a good point to go ahead and stop it here. Um, so, next time we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to go over some, some theater control stuff next time and uh, start thinking about how we're going to deal with Poland. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.